Hey, what's up YouTube? This is PGS Guru and I'm here bringing you another commentary. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to uh take a chance to announce a couple things. First thing is uh it is September the I believe 18th and uh the news is I will be back in Union City, Tennessee next weekend to visit with the PGS core and uh hang out with everyone next weekend. So, uh that's, I'm very, very excited about getting to come back and see everyone. It's been about three months, so pretty hyped about that. And also, I had a quick announcement on an idea that I had come up with uh, today. For uh, Because we all get online, PGS Core decides that, you know, we all group up in our groups together, and we play, uh, we play matches against other teams. So what I'd like to do is do an event called PGS Core Inner Conflict. Now, this would require about at least 10 players and we would basically be playing a series of 5v5s against each other in a way to kind of help us get better within our own group and just so we know we have we have a good match against some good players because you know every now and then you get levers you get the one guy that feeds and ruins it for the other team and uh, it happens now I'm gonna do this uh, over all this match because this match we played last night and to be quite honest we shouldn't have won. It was a fantastic comeback. We were getting absolutely stomped. And then we somehow pull it together and we uh, we managed to pull out a win on this one. But uh, how it all happens is, is very impressive and uh, that's what it's really about. So, me and uh, me and Viking Man, Mr. Uh, Jobo uh, as Olaf are going to lane top. Welcome Our to Bane, Summoner's who is Rift. Joey Morris, Sink Me, is going to be taking middle. And our, n never mind actually, it's our uh, Iriyoma, who is Kennen, is going to be taking middle. And Vayne and Nasus are going bottom. And uh, Viking Man's AFK <laughs> for the moment. But uh, anyway, I'm just doing my normal Maokai thing here, warring up bushes. Anyway, back to PGS Core Inner Conflict. What I'd like to do is get 10 to 15 people, all uh, who... If you're in the PGS core, 30 uh, seconds until minion which is spawn. pretty much means if you're in the Facebook uh, group, you are can enter your name in for the drawing, and I'm going to draw out three, two to three, random 5v5 teams made up of PGS core members. And what I'd like to do is kind of run a series of best two out of three between all the teams. Just have one day where we start at about noon or pretty early in the day, you know, whenever everyone can get on. And we just have a bunch of games Minions have spawned. and uh, just basically get good practice for ourselves and, you know, help us get better as players to get ready for Ranked for Season 2. So that's kind of the idea. Let me know if you, what you guys think about that idea. I'll be coming out with a flyer for it soon enough. Hopefully, I might be able to give a couple prizes out and come up with some, something to give away as uh, for the winning teams. So, But we'll, but we'll see. I'm, I actually am out of, uh, out of work right now, so... I'm able to focus on uh, on doing these videos, but uh, as soon as I can, I will let people know about you know when uh, what I can give or uh, what I can do as far as a prize. So anyway, I'm up top here doing my Olaf or my uh, my Olaf my Mokai thing. We've got Talon and uh, and Karma up top, and I'm getting more used to Karma now. I I've faced against her in a couple games, and uh, I kind of am understanding her support. Uh, so uh, it's it's a little bit less scary to see a uh, a Karma now, and luckily I actually don't mind the situation too much. I would really like Olaf to be here, which here he finally comes after uh, Jobo being AFK. But uh, this is a situation like normally I wouldn't mind uh, soloing top lane. It's great experience for Mokai and a great way to get him to become a super tank, which uh, still kind of happens, but happens a little bit later than uh, I would really like. So, me and Joe are up here laying top doing our normal stuff. Now, inner conflict is basically just... I can't have came up with the idea because when we were playing League of Legends very heavily back, uh, you know, back in the summer and back during uh, last December in those times, uh, we did get to get to play a couple 3v3s against each other and we had a lot of fun. Uh, I had a bunch of fun and now that everyone's starting to get to playing 5v5s, people know what they're doing. And the sheer amount of people that are playing League of Legends now, I feel like it'd be a perfect opportunity has been slain. To, uh, to do one of these. So we see we're jumping in on Talon right here, trying to get some damage. I uh, throw a terrible sapling. I probably could have thrown that in a lot better spot and got a little bit more damage on the Talon. 
But uh, this is a good combo. I like Olaf and uh, Mokai up top. Uh, he can space him out with his axes, and I can be annoying with Vegeta Jr. And I love him chasing him down and doing that damage. That is, oh, Maokai is so much fun. This, this is how I like to play. I like to play a tanky character that can take some hits and be annoying. That is why I love Mokai. And also, I get free wards, which is pretty nice. And I'm just shooting up this, uh, shooting up this Talon right here. I don't want him to get back any health, but I'm pretty low on mana. And this is the reason why, uh, as a Mokai player, you should take Clarity. Clarity keeps you in the lane and allows you to keep spamming these, uh, these little saplings. And with Mokai, you want, you want spell spam because of his passive, which after five random spell casts just that, are, that get cast around him, he builds up these stacks right here. And see, so sap ready. My next basic attack is going to heal me. And uh, you'll see on this next auto attack on whichever minion it is, it'll actually give me back some health. And the thing is, it actually gives back a pretty good health buff. It's not some minuscule amount. And so I see right here I'm trying to push up a little bit so I can get that heal because it helps me keep in lane and I don't have to take anything like a summon heal or health pots. So Mokai is very self-sustaining if he takes clarity because he has some mana problems at early level. Olaf just doing his, his Olaf thing, throwing axes. Our bottom's doing pretty well against the Akali, and, or our mid's doing well against the Akali, and our bottom has Garen and Pantheon. Now, if I remember correctly, the Pantheon gets a little bit fed, and uh, we have a little bit of trouble, but we end up coming back and uh, pulling it together. And uh, this is definitely a very good example in a video on why teamwork, this, uh, why teamwork is more important in League of Legends than being able to gank, having one really good carry, anything like that. It's right here just farming up. See that little health boost right there? Quite a decent amount. It's, uh, it's, it, keeps, it keeps me in lane. My clarity's going to come back up here in another 9 seconds, and I pop it, I'm sure, as soon as it comes up. And then I'm refreshing, ready to go back in. I'll have my stun, have my clarity. 2, 1, and clarity. There we go. Throwing Vegeta Jr. and he's chasing him down and puts out quite a bit of damage. And the thing is, that sapling actually hits when it lands and whoever it chases down and explodes near. So I kind of try to predict whether he's going to be. Get a stun on Talon right there. Actually, I think we pick up the kill, but it looks like a Olaf might die here. My stun's not up to stun the An Karma. Has been slain. And I get into a little 1v1 situation with Karma here, which I totally should have won, but uh... For whatever reason, Mokai just completely whiffs his auto attack right there. I don't know why. It was, uh, yeah, as I say there, bullshit. So, uh, we're down 1-3. I've already got my first death, and, uh, it, uh, kind of made me a little mad. She's only got about, oh, 200 HP. Could have probably just annihilated her. But, anyway, it happens, and, uh, like I said, it, it all comes back around. Dr. Kennen down here is doing his thing against Akali, who we've seen in previous games, who is pretty dangerous. An ally has been slain. And uh, Pantheon's down there just doing work against our uh, our Nasus. But we see Vayne coming here through the woods, maybe trying to see if she can sneak up and pick uh, pick up a kill. And Olaf's back top, uh, clearing out the lane for me. And uh, I'm a slow tree man. It takes me a while to get anywhere, even with boots. Uh, Mokai is just kind of slow. But you know what? That's not his job. His job isn't to be fast. His job is to get in there and take hits to the tree trunk. So here, I'm just going to throw a sapling right there to ward that bush up because the farm is missing. Not sure where she might... She may be coming from any direction at any minute. And you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little herky-jerky on this camera. I'm using a touchpad and not a, uh, not a mouse. But I'm going to throw that in there. Pick up a couple creep uh, kills right there with the explosion. And uh, I'm not too worried about where Karma is because I have a, I know she's not going to be in this top bush because I would have seen her run in. And I know she's not in the bottom because I have it warded. And that's another reason why Mokai is not that bad as a solo top lane. Because if I can keep those saplings up, then I can get last hits because of the explosion. And he'll run away from, from the sapling because that explosion is pretty, pretty hefty, actually. You see our Olaf went bottom there and attempted a gank. And uh, let's see what happens down here. Olaf goes in, starts to start, start hitting Garen, gets silenced. Arnas is taking turret shots, now Vayne does, and uh, doesn't really make anything happen there. Uh, we'll see if here in a minute they actually pull something out. Looks like Garen's trying to be a little, little bit ballsier. But anyway, 
up top doing my solo lane. Uh, Karma's, I know she's going to be ducking in and out, trying to get me to make a mistake. But I'm solo lane now. I actually will be all right for the, for the moment, time being. I stun him just to kind of be a bully. Not for any other real reason. And look at Vegeta. Chases him down and gets him. And he actually gets hit by that second sapling that I threw in that bush. So, sapling placement in bushes is a very, very good thing. And it'll surprise a lot of people. And like I said there, I try to predict where he's going to run once he sees the animation cast. I don't try to throw it right where he's standing. So, now you see I call Karma missing because I haven't seen her in a while. And there she ends up being right there, but I've got enough health that I'm going to survive this encounter. I exhaust Talon just so he can't put any more damage on me, and all Karma can do is ignite me. And I'm just going to throw that little guy right there just in case she tries to come out of the bush at that section. And uh, my back's to the wall here, but I actually don't mind this position with Mokai at all because I have my passive ready, Sap is ready. I'm going to keep throwing out those minions, last hitting, getting everything together. I'm going to stun her, because turret's got her targeted, put some damage on her. Uh, Karma's seem to not make the best decision. An ally has been uh, slain. see there, uh, our Olaf comes top because Pantheon is just down bottom getting really fed. So, Pantheon's kind of ends up being the troublemaker in this situation. And Talon jumps on me you with that stupid slain. ult. <laughs> I hate that ult. It has too, uh, too little of a cooldown for, uh, how great it is. So... We have Olaf soloing top against Karma and, uh, and Talon, which Olaf, uh, not a champion that's really in that big of a struggle, but, you know, he, he they're, they're, he's not me. He's not Mokai. He can stand with his back to the turret and just, and just stay there. You see our Kennen staying alive against mid. There hasn't been a whole lot of action mid, uh, so... Basically, we know our cannon's still going to be up. He's actually uh, already got his amplifying tome and everything. And uh, Bottom's chasing out Garen, maybe trying to pick up a kill. Not sure what happens here. And looks like they don't pick up the kill on Garen. The fight happening down here. Garen's really, really low. Pantheon comes in. Garen runs away. Pantheon picks up the kill on, uh, on Vayne. He flashes over the wall. And Pantheon's probably going to pick up the kill on Narnassus here as well. So anyway, we're back up top. We're still doing our lane. And uh, I'm trying to just basically put as much damage out of them as I can. Because with Talon being the type of character he is, being an AD character, uh, I know I'm going to stack armor. I'm going for a... Uh, I am going for a... Uh, um, Sunfire Cape is my, the first item I'm going to try to go for in this game. But right here, you see that Mana Crystal I bought. I would actually usually build a Catalyst, the Protector, beforehand. I get a stun. He ults. Gets away. And uh, Olaf kind of dives in. I'm not sure why I did that. I popped my ult just to see if maybe I could catch him. But uh, I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, Olaf got silenced and really couldn't do a whole lot about it. I didn't have my stun ready. Uh, otherwise, I would have jumped right on top of the uh, of the karma. But anyway, so we're one and eight. We're at a severe deficit already, and their pantheon is just getting more and more kills. So yeah, it's not the greatest situation uh, at 12 minutes in. I'm just kind of putting my saplings down, try to get everything warded up. And uh, also, just while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I, if you guys like these commentaries, if you think I maybe focus on one thing too much, or you think I need to talk about something else during the game a little bit more, let me know and I'll make these adjustments, because my videos aren't for me to watch. My videos are for you guys to watch. I'm going to back right here and uh, finish my Catalyst, the Protector. And just call top missing, and it looks like our Olaf is going to try to maybe sneak mid or go bottom to, uh, to maybe hopefully pick up a couple kills and get us back in the running a little bit. And I'm two deaths in right here, and like I've said in previous videos, I do not like, uh, I absolutely hate dying before level 10. I'm level 8 and I've got two deaths, I have an assist, but anyway. So, they call swap, so our Vayne is going to actually come up top with me, and then Olaf's going to go bottom with Nasus. And Arkenon's going to stay mid, because Arkenon, who is uh, Irioma, uh, is 
absolutely probably one of the best mids that we have uh, in our game. And especially with Kennen. You see Talon there, he's going middle to uh, lane against Kennen. And I believe he actually picks up a kill right here, Kennen does. Stun the Karma because Vayne's here. Throw an exhaust. Throw my ult. Just try to do as much damage as I can. Cancel my ult and uh, she gets away. We just didn't have enough damage output and my s we kind of uh, we just didn't really catch her as uh, far away from her turret as we should have. But anyway. He picks up the kill, warding that push just to make sure no one comes through. And uh, Arvane's uh, doing pretty good, got her Zerg Greaves, got a Dorn's Blade. And uh, I'm, next time I go back, I'll be able to actually finish my Catalyst. Ward Bush up there just to make sure no one comes through to try to gank us. And I go in just to kind of see what uh, what Karma's going to do. And she's going to play it smart, give her millions, minions a little bit of health. And, enemy and our has been picks up a kill on Garen right there, so... Come back at three. An ally has been and Vegeta slain. Chase them down. Oh, I love when Vegeta chases them down and still gets the damage. You know, it's it's hard it's hard to actually outrun Vegeta. It's uh, pretty crazy. Stand outside turret range and look at that. He's just a champion. He actually takes down two or three just notches of her health each time that I land an explosion. I see that my uh, sapling just went out right there, so I'm gonna retoss that. It's actually at a point in the game where ganks could happen at any time. So, I want to make sure that I have all my bases covered. And right there, we see Talons come back up top against me and Bane. Bane's a little bit low, but uh, we can actually still make it out alright if we focus the right person down. I'm actually getting a decent amount of creep farm here. Uh, clarity just to keep my mana up. And, uh... An enemy has like been Olaf picked up a, finally picked up a kill on the Pantheon. An and he kills him right back. Slain. So, uh, I guess that was worth it. <laughs> Go in there. And uh, that is dumb, by the way. That I remember even thinking that was stupid that was. I throw my stun, and he gets to pop his ult and get out of it for free. I don't know why I threw my ult right there. I actually think I misclicked, um, if I remember correctly. Kind of kicked myself for that. Though, Mokai's uh, ult timer isn't that bad. I kind of jump in just to be a little bit of a bully. I've got the health to stay in the fight a little bit. And... Uh, all this karma can do is ignite me. It seems like every karma has ignite, and that's all they can really do to uh, to put damage on me. So right here, I'm a little bit low on mana, and I'm a little bit lower in health than I'd like to. So I'm hanging up top for a little bit of health, because without mana, I can't really zone them out that much. So hopefully, I'm waiting on Vayne to get back here in time, and it looks like she will. I'm going to push up a little bit, make sure that bush is covered, and... Uh, to see them there, and I think, actually, here in a second, they have a third come top, if I remember correctly. But, like I said, it's hard for me to remember games exactly as they went. Talon jumps on me, and, uh, here comes our Vayne coming in. I have no mana to do anything. I have no mana to really assist in this gank at all. Talon pops his ult, and, uh, gets away pretty much scot-free. My stun comes up, I try to keep him in range of the tower, but, as you see there... Flash, and I don't have a sapling to throw to chase him with because I'm out of mana, and it's a terrible situation because Karma could kill me and Talon could turn around and kill me. So I'm gonna run all the way back to the base to heal up and uh, finish my catalyst. And as you see there, as I pinged, top's looking uh, not so good right now. Karma's gonna be able to put damage on it, and uh, so will Talon. Your team has and it looks like bottom pushed turret. up enough just to kill that bottom turret. But at the risk of giving another kill to Pantheon, right now he is actually 5-1. and one. So he's uh, he's definitely doing the best out of the game. And uh, 5 of their 12 kills is uh, pretty potent. So we see our, uh, our Nasus says he's going to come help us top. And then uh, we've got Vayne jumping in there. Talon pops his ult just to get away. Vayne gets a couple shots on him. Knocks off Karma, which is uh, pretty good, and I'm coming in. I see Karma has no mana, so I know that I can kind of get in there. Champion is just still picking up more and more kills, Your team but we has picked up another turret. turret. So, we're up two turrets, but they're ahead by 13, or er, they have 13 kills, so they're ahead nine kills. So this still isn't the best situation, but I've got my Catalyst. I've almost got 2k health already, so... 
I'm doing pretty good. Next item I'm definitely focusing on is my uh, Sunfire Cape. I basically get Catalyst just to solve my mana problems with with Mokai. If you look down there at my mana region, it's pretty high right now. Jumping in here, and we're going to try to put some damage on this turret, but Akali's here, and uh, I don't like that situation, especially not with Akali there. Akali's one of those characters who can just come back and kill you uh, pretty, pretty easily. Right here, we got me and uh, me and Nasus just waiting for Akali to make a mistake, and here comes the three person I talked about was going to happen. I actually die right here to, to Akali and everyone focusing me. Kennen comes up, saw where everyone was up here. He tries to pick up a couple kills, and uh, yeah. Now that was uh, kind of bad because we had no MIA called or anything. Kennen's in here doing work though. Don't know if he's always pop his roll. And uh, yeah. it's not a good situation up here. Our guys uh, has been slain. need to get out as soon as possible, and they realize that a little too late. The ally has been up the ace here. Or, well, not the ace, the unofficial ace. Olaf dies here in a second. So, An I, I grab my chain vest slain. to start off my Sunfire Cape. An and ally uh, has been slain. I'm the only one alive on the team. So, I'm just going to run back up top to, uh, to back to my position. They're pushing top, though, pretty heavy. They've got their Garen there. they got Karma. They've got their Fed Pantheon. He's already got his Yalmuz at level 10. And uh, I don't want to get too close. I just want to throw a sapling and uh, kind of get back. Garen starts to chase me, but he realizes he actually can't catch me. Your turret has been Karma destroyed. picks up that top turret. And me, Nasus, and Vayne are here in defense. This is actually a pretty good situation. We've got a tank. We've, got, we've actually got two tanks, and we've got some damage. Nasus runs middle, uh, so me and Vayne actually can't really push up too far. Vayne's trying to farm those golems, get a couple extra beasts of gold. And our cannon's also coming top. So, if we look at the, re at the situation. Towers, we are now still only up, up like a few towers, but they have such a huge lead on us. They're up by 12 kills. That means they have the gold lead, they have the XP lead, and uh, they have the item lead. But we have towers. So right here, we all decide, hey, we need to group up, we need to fight as a team. So we're all coming mid. We pick out someone. Well, not yet. <laughs> Gonna farm up middle lane and make sure that uh, that happens. And uh, Colin ends up picking up another turret. Uh, down on bottom, but four of us are pushing strong, and I actually remember this very, very well. We lost because of one reason. Nasus is at bottom. Nasus should have come up middle with the rest of the team and helped out, which we would have won this fight. But what happens, what ends up happening is uh, pretty unfortunate, and I think uh, the footage will explain for itself. I'm throwing saplings just to try to make sure that no one jumps out a little too far. There comes the Talon. He's coming in. I'm looking for the first person who needs to get stunned. I see Pantheon jumping in, so I stun him. Throw down my ult. Throw down everything. Try to put down as much damage as I can. Cancel my ult. And uh, we just got out man and out gun. And Nass is at bottom. So that's... Enemy That's the reason kill. why you really need to pay attention where the team is. Where the team is and assess the situation. Now they end up getting this mid turret and uh, Corey turret is pushing bottom. Or uh, Nessus is pushing bottom, but it's not worth it for us getting hit that hard. And now it's 7 to 22. We're almost down by almost 20 kills. It's it's pretty bad. So they're actually going to end up getting both of our mid towers. Even though Vayne's there, we can't do anything. Nasus goes down turret. there and picks up a turret. But Pantheon's just going to jump down there and chase him away. Now, I Your remember, right here we're all, uh, we're not in the greatest of spirits. We're, uh, we actually considered surrendering. 
because, well, I mean, look at look at how this is going so far. We're down in kills, down in, uh, now we're actually at a turret disadvantage. And it's just, they have some a couple characters who are really, really up in their items. And, uh, it's just, it's just not a good situation. So, I'm just gonna do whatever I can, ward up, and hopefully we catch one of them alone, or one of them makes a mistake. I have zero kills and four deaths in this game, which uh, is not good. I know I talk about all the time how it's a tank's job to go in there and die, but not four times before level 11. That's never a good situation. That sapling ends up uh, spotting a little someone right there, so we run down this bush, and here we go. This is what needed to happen. All five of us in mid getting ready to spring a trap. We all group up right as we need to be. We've got the two tanks and Olaf towards the front. We're going to push this mid. Now, the opposite team can't ignore this situation. Bottom does have a large creep wave pushing it, but they can't ignore this. Pantheon makes a terrible decision to jump right there. In my opinion, some people may say, oh, well, he needed to get there. <coughs> Excuse me. But here's what happens. Kenan's going to be able to outpoke him. I'm going to throw my saplings. Saplings are going to do damage. And I remember this. This is such a standoff. We stand off with them here for almost a good solid minute of just this back and forth here. Of us killing creeps, annoying them, poking. I just throw that there so Pantheon can't go back. And it's it's a standoff. It is because uh, we know the first person to make a mistake is the one who's going to lose the team fight. So, we just play the patient game, we play the waiting game. Throwing saplings, doing what we can. Uh, my exhaust is up, I actually have my, both my summoner spells up. And I think it kicks off here in a few seconds. Throwing saplings, yep, I remember, because right here, the Garen makes the decision, jumps in, and uh, the team fight starts. Throwing saplings, and here he goes. Garen's coming in. I'm not going to waste my stun on Garen until he gets low or see that's who we're focusing. I stun the Karma, throw down my ult. Throw the push. Cancel my ult, get the kill. And look at this. Our team comes back, throw the exhaust on Pantheon. Throw down the stun, and we end up coming ahead on the team fight. We ace them, and three of our people are still alive, including Olaf. And that was because we were the more patient team. That's that's why. Their Garen jumped in way too early, and they focused the wrong people. Your team so, has destroyed a turret. We're gonna push up here, and we're definitely, definitely gonna do our best to get this tower right here. I don't remember if we actually get in hip. Oh, they actually uh <laughs> they shield the tower, which is uh interesting. I don't know why my camera got a little weird there. I'm going to take this opportunity to go back. Because I have 2200 gold. And I know I'm going to be able to grab my Sunfire Cape. Now that I have my Sunfire, I start building a Rod of Ages. Actually, no. I actually remember exactly what I'm going to do here. I start deciding that I'm going to go Banshee's Veil. Vale because I realize they don't have a whole lot of AP. Most of it is attack damage. Now you see there in chat, no one focused Kennen really, just the Pantheon and the Akali. A lot of people started attacking me and Nasus, which I don't understand why. That's another tip there, boys and girls. Oh, we catch Garen way out of place. I run back a little bit, but uh, yeah. Actually, their whole team's there, and they're going to pick up Thane. Now, I'm going to run back and make sure that we've got people there. I don't want to give up a kill. I'm going to stun the Vayne, throw down my ult. Throw down everything I've got. Cancel the ult. Olaf gets in there. I actually pick up the kill for that one. And right here, there's not a whole lot I can do. I don't have any real assist that I can aid him without knowing that I would go in there and die. So, right here, they jump on me, and I think they actually pick up the kill. Yeah, because Akali ends up coming up there as well. So they came back with a pretty decent answer, killing... All of us except for two of us. 
Onassis is going to come up here. And uh, as I was joking, he's going to save the day. Pops Nasus hole, runs back a little bit, gets Garen to get, take some turret shots. And look at Nasus go. This is, oh lord. And this is why Nasus is just fantastic. And just taking down the Pantheon with the assist of the vein. An enemy has been slain. And it was, it was amazing. He came up there and it looked like he was definitely going to lose, but he actually ended up picking up a kill. They're going to go here, bully this Talon who has Flash and is stupid old. <laughs> And he's going to get away for free. Run back up. Buy my magic resist cloak. Because I'm starting on my Banshee's Veil. And I know once I have Banshee's, I'm going to be just an incredible tank. I've already got 2400 HP. And uh, I can take some hits as Mokai. Go up here. Going to farm a little bit. Our guys are at mid. Trying to push that creep wave back. And I just want to kind of clear top. So that way they don't have too many minions pushing in on our turret. See that little explosion? Oh, I love the explosion when it falls. Anyway, let's see what our veins got. Our veins actually got her bloodthirster, our cannon, and our nasus. Kennen's got his Robidon's death cap. Olaf has got his Riggles lantern, frozen mallet, Zerk greaves, and our nasus has his Trinity Force. So. We're actually doing pretty good on our items. A little bit better than uh, than I thought we were. But 14, 28. We're still at a 14 death deficit. Oh, I'm going to wait here. And then I know I don't want to waste my stun until I know we're going to get the kill. Throw down my ult. And that reduced damage that ends up coming from Olaf's ult is just incredible. Akali pops back An up right there. I don't know why she doesn't try to ma make a runaway. But we pick up the kill. Has been slain. And An once again, it ends up being slain. me, Nasus, and Olaf. And up here we have their Talon and their Karma. Which, if we go in, is a pretty easy fight. So here we're doing the dance. I'm going to throw in my sapling right there, just put a little damage, and our Olaf's going to go in on this Talon right here and just try to pick up the kill. I throw a stun on the Karma just to, just to kind of help, and I see I'm taking some turret damage, so uh, I need to get out as soon as possible. And I think our Olaf might die here. Yeah, dies to the turret, and uh, so does our Nasus. I see there's four people there. And I'm outie. I am out of five There's no reason that I need to uh, to stay there. Don't remember if Garen catches me or if he kind of gives up the chase. But okay, he gives up. But uh, so I'm running up. I just want to go back and uh, buy another item for my banshees. And also get the get the heal there. See Pantheon and uh, Talon pushing up top. And mid, they have Garen and uh, their Karma. Just right here. Finish my Banshee's Veil. And now I am ready. I am ready to just go in and be disruptive. Right here. Normally I wouldn't worry about it, but here, I'm going to stun the Garen, hit him, throw down my ult. And that reduced damage and the stun off that is actually enough to give us a little an edge. The Akali, for whatever reason, stays in this range. And the Talon's going to go around towards slain. the back. So we picked up a couple kills there. I decide I'm going to go with Kennen because Kennen's low and needs some protection. Plus, I can really, really be an asset to him with my stun. And uh, we're going to go up top and uh, pick up a kill on this Pantheon right here. Throw him with the stun. He takes turret shots. Pick up a kill. So I'm at 3 and 5 right here. And... Uh, doing a little bit better. I'm feeling a lot more confident about the game. Uh, we're actually, right now, our turrets, we have their two inner turrets, and uh, they are have our turrets. So we're actually tied, but they still have a 13 kill lead. Pretty uh, pretty big lead. I'm going to run back here and uh, buy another item. Not sure really what I'm working on on this, uh, on my third big item. Probably my, uh, Probably my rod of ages. Has a Actually, I think I'm going for a a frozen heart. That's what I'm going for. I'm basically just wanting to be super defensive, be attacked, not really worried about abilities. Our Nasus picks An up a kill on the, uh, on the Garen there. 
So now we're going to rush Blue Inhibitor. Talon's coming up behind uh, Vayne right there. There's a Pantheon jump. Nass is there, though. Nasus is focused on getting that inhibitor down and just Your runs away. Which, inhibitor. right there, kind of not really worth it for him to die, but I see them coming in. Lincoln and alone cannot fight this. So we're going to back up. We're going to go farm. Push back top. Not really sure what we're going to do. But this is a good combination. Me and Kennen, like I said, my stun plus his damage output is uh, going to really, really, really help. So we actually have the advantage right now in a slight way. We have super minions spawning in their mid. And they don't have any of our inhibitors or any of our base turrets. Throw out there. Put the stun on Pantheon. Throw down my ult. That reduced damage. We're actually going to pick up the kill on the Karma. Pantheon gets away. But our Olaf's there. Olaf throws throws some axes. I throw a sapling over the wall to hopefully see if it'll pick him up. Fortunately, it doesn't uh, aggro him. Sorry about my computer again, folks. A little chuggy sometimes when I get to the play. Why Pantheon uh, tried to go juke this way, I don't know. Uh, I obviously have a stun. Throw that just in case we see that uh, Garen decide to come back. And uh, right here... We have Vayne coming down. We have double super minions coming in mid. And uh, this is a good situation for us. So me and Joe, we're going to push up here. See that there's three or four of them. So we're actually going to fall back. Make sure we're grouped up with our tank, with our damage dealers. I have my Banshee's Veil ult up. I have NASA's doing a little taunt laughing right there. Which is uh, always classy. Just kind of throwing him in there, throwing Vegeta in there, seeing if he maybe picks up a little someone. And uh, this is where we need to be. All together. Olaf oh, maybe a little bit overextended right there, but all five of us are together. And uh, this is where we obviously, like I was, I remember saying in, uh, saying to myself, if we can just stay in this group, stay as five, we can beat the entire team. We see this Akali down bottom with his Garen. I'm going to throw the stun on the Akali. I'm not worried about the Garen. He's the tank. Don't need to focus him. Now we can focus the Garen. I'm going to go in, do whatever damage I can. I throw my ult down for the reduced damage. Throw down my throw down my uh, knockback. Now I try to find the next person needs to get stun. I see Talon right there. Throw the stun on him. And as you see, I'm almost full health. And so is Nasus. We're all very, very healthy. The only person that ended up dying was our Vayne. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, that was just a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic spot right there. And as you see, Joe and Kennen pick up the Karma. We score an ace. And this was the game. 28 to 37, a nine kill deficit. And we have enough time. They're all down for at least another couple seconds. And we can push in and win this game. So, that just wants to, I mean, to prove again Teamwork is the key. Never give up. Know your positioning and know when to make intelligent decisions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this podcast and the or not podcast, but enjoyed this commentary and enjoyed this game. I hope to see everyone this weekend in Union City, and I hope you all decide to uh, compete in the sport and the conference. Thanks a lot for watching.